Welcome and welcome back to Bitcoin update. We got Bitcoin trading at 28,700 today. So uh, the question is, uh, the, so many people are going to be posing at the moment, is Bitcoin actually going to continue to go down? Or are we going to have Bitcoin to try to move back up uh, again? So here we are, and I'm going to dive in into the one hour time frame at the moment. The one hour time frame seems like it went down, made a flag here. This flag got a technical target come all the way down to $28,000, okay, all-round figure, $28,000. Now, unfortunately, um, it seems like you're getting near there, but uh, along the way when you're coming down as well, there's one more trend line that seems like is coming to save the day. So you've got Bitcoin right now making this trend line. So one touch, second, third, fourth, fifth, and you're pretty much about to hold this one. So in the next two hours, 31 minutes, we shall know if this is going to actually hold or is going to lose so you got two hours 31 minutes to close the four hour candle and what i'm interested to see is if um this is going to end up being another flag or not so you might actually just try if, if i think personally i think if you if you're looking for bitcoin to come to twenty eight thousand dollars then i don't think we're going to stop here we're going to actually be moving lower than all these prices because one thing for sure is going to be that uh, you, you, you'll be losing this trend line that you had and when you lose this trend line it seems like you're going to have the next support down near this area which is actually round figure $26,000 now lose $26,000 then you got a bigger target all right then you might be looking to end up coming down all the way down to this area which is again $23,000 so uh, lose 28 this is my observation right now so lose 28 which you're not doing at the moment you're still holding the support because you might even end up pumping back up this is the other side of the scenario so if you're holding support you might actually pump back up and then you're going to have a very uh you know you're going to have a squeeze with this trend line and the upper trend uh, the upper sorry the upper resistance and the lower support are going to you know combine each other and then you're going to have bitcoin move up come down like this until you don't pop down or eventually move again higher so that's uh, one thing because remember, remember, remember that over here you do have this, uh, you know, resistance, resistance there and it translates to the modern time here that you also have another resistance as well. So uh, lower support, support, support. Yep. And if the decision has to come, then I think you're going to be looking at the decision until maximum time, 8th of May, if something like this ever happens. So let's see what can happen. And if, uh, in my opinion, if you end up looking at Bitcoin, you know, losing at 28,000, coming down and losing 26,000 and coming down to 23,000, I might actually expect finally the 20,000 gap on the CM, uh, uh, the CME gap of Bitcoin, uh, you know, getting filled as well. It's actually a very complicated market because altcoins are so down. And when I look at altcoins, I think, why would Bitcoin even dump that much further down? And secondly, if Bitcoin had to dump to $20,000, we might see something different in the market this time. And that is, we might actually get to experience that Bitcoin dumps and the altcoin pumps. Yes, altcoins are going to go up and Bitcoin might go down actually, which is rare case, but there's a reason for that. The reason being is people might sell Bitcoin and start buying Altcoins, so you know that relationship between Bitcoin dominance and altcoins and uh, those kind of stuff. It might happen that the dominance actually go down for Bitcoin, and Bitcoin does go down, and the altcoins move up. That's the relationship between these things. If that can happen, uh, could be amazing. But you know, people are going to scratch their head why is Bitcoin going down and altcoins pumping up. But that's going to be the logical explanation that. Why did altcoins go up? Because I do see a lot of altcoins want to go up and they're already down. I don't I don't know if Bitcoin, because if Bitcoin goes to 20,000, that's like 10,000, nearly 10,000 change for Bitcoin. And that's going to be a lot of big dump, like 20, 30% for the altcoins as well. So let's see what happens. And I'm going to see you the next one. I love you.